what's up tubo people thanks so much swad or suede i don't know how to say a name but he's a guy that shared this song in our community and you can check out the community using the links in the description you can join it's only five bucks a month and then you can suggest songs and then i'll do tutorials for them so he suggested this song last week and i listened to it and i was like wow this is a good song to add to the library um you can go check out the pdf using the links in the description and these are the chords four chord song uh, but not in the traditional sense like G, D, E minor, C. Really, really good song, good picking pattern, just two different picking patterns that you have to learn, and then you'll be able to be well on your way with this song. And then two different chord progressions, both kind of similar, uh, but uh, yeah. So one progression that's used for the intros and the verses, one progression for the chorus, two picking patterns, and these chord shapes. So I first want to start with the chord shapes because they're probably... The most interesting thing about this song, I mean, a lot of different songs use these same four chords. Um, this is a John Mayer song that used this kind of thing. But anyway, the premise of this thing is having your second finger on top and your third finger on the second string. And then you have this kind of very nice G. You mute the fifth string and mute the high E string. Then you have this really interesting G, which works really nice with the picking pattern. And then those notes that I put in parentheses, you can use these two fingers to play them. I just add those two, he doesn't use those, but... But that's what a lot of finger style players do. And then E minor 7, same thing. over A. So I would have thought he would do this D, but he actually, a D over F sharp, but he has a D over A chord. And then a C sus 2, which he sometimes hammers on you. Sometimes that's that in one of his versions of the song. So these are the chords, pretty simple. Once you have them down, you can start with the picking patterns. So first picking pattern, the one that's the basis of the song, um, if you wanted to just play the chords like this. This is that kind of the second picking pattern. So the first one is simple. P, I, P, M. Now that kind of continues throughout the song. And sometimes that M, you add a ring finger with it, but it's more, most of the time it's P. In some ver live versions, he just plays P, I, P, I, P, I, on the G and the E minor especially. Uh, but on all the other chords, he does this picking pattern. But I'm pretty sure in the live, on the original version, P, I, P, M, all the way. Okay. Then the second picking pattern, the one over here, is the... Uh, it's kind of like the Hey There Delilah picking pattern. Like... Okay, but if he does it on the G chord, he does it like this. With these two fingers, M and A. So once you have this second pattern down, he does that pattern to kind of play the lines in the song, which the lines are part of the these chord shapes, okay? So that the first one you see in the G chord there, that's where you get the lines from. So 
just when he plays the line, he does that picking pattern, and then he goes back to the original pattern. So, and he does not play that first note of the picking pattern in the bass, he just starts on the and. So, bam, bam. So he kind of starts the picking pattern there. He does not play the first bass, which gives this whole thing this kind of syncopated feel, which is quite nice. There it goes. Ugh. Just to show you how to do the hammer-ons. It's like a fast one, like an Irish jig kind of. Getting carried away, but that's going to be the hardest one to get right. Basically the order is picking pattern and then practice hammer-ons and the chord shapes and then you're good to go. Now this song is pretty simple, two, two chord progressions, G, one, two, one, two, three, E minor. There I did a passing chord on the way to the G, which he also does, is just for that moment he goes to D over F sharp. Ah, oh, sorry, wrong window. There we go. So from the E minor. Okay, on the second line. D. C, sus two. From the D to the C, he also does a walk up. Sometimes, okay. But that's all little embellishments you can add later. Okay, so that's it for the song. Pretty simple. For the chorus, I'm just gonna show the words for the chorus. It's just G, E minor, and at the end he just goes to C for two long bars. I say long bars because I kind of feel the song as boom, dun, dun, where some people will feel it as dun, dun, dun. then it would be four bars but it depends on you nice song and yeah have a nice day see you in another video goodbye